About a year and a half ago, I made this video right here. It's titled, This is why Ocean Ramsey is bad for sharks. Admittedly, a slightly clickbaity title, but I'd still say the general theme is fairly accurate. I decided to make the video because I had a ton of people in the Shark Bites comments asking me for my thoughts on Ocean Ramsey. And instead of copying and pasting my long-winded replies to each individual person, I thought it would just be easier to air out my thoughts in a single video. I never expected it to get the views that it did, which as of making this video sits at just shy of 350,000. All from a simple video airing my opinion on Ocean Ramsey and her acolytes at One Ocean Diving. But it was clearly a controversial topic because boy, it didn't half kick off in the comments. I think bar the Cameron Robbins video that I did shortly after, this was one of the videos where I got the most abuse from people. I got called all manner of names under the sun, sexist pig, misogynistic. Faber, I think, was a particular favourite, I have to say. I had people saying that I was bad for sharks and that I wasn't a real scientist. And there were other people accusing me of using Ocean Ramsey's fame to try and boost my own channel. Someone even tried to argue with me that Ocean Ramsey was actually someone called Sarah Lee, even though they're pretty clearly two very different people. All around, it got a bit nasty in the comments section, mostly from people who I imagine are hardcore Ocean Ramsey fans who hate to hear someone criticize her even slightly. I mean, all I said was that I don't think she should be needlessly harassing potentially dangerous wild animals, which I don't think is a particularly left field argument. She's of course still doing that, by the way, not that I thought she'd stop, but just look at this clip that crossed my desk from a few weeks back. It's just insane. If that's not hitching a ride on a protected marine species being disguised as safety measures and redirection, I don't know what is. Now, this isn't going to be another episode whinging on about Ocean Ramsey. That's ground I've already covered, which you can check out here, by the way. Instead, I'm going to give you some updates as to what's happened since I published the original video, and it's pretty wild. And towards the end, I'll show you a very recent comment I supposedly got from Ramsey on Reddit and I thought the best place to reply would be right here on Shark Bites. Now, believe me guys, I didn't really want to do another video on Ocean Ramsey. It's old news. I literally made that video nearly two years ago. And I'm sure after posting this video, I'll get people again accusing me of jumping onto her fame to boost my own channel. As if I haven't made 180 other videos that have absolutely nothing to do with her. <laughs> but the Reddit comment that was posted apparently from Ramsey was just too juicy to not make a video about. First though, I'm gonna give you some updates as to what went down after posting the original video. So not too long after uploading, it, I woke up one morning to find out that TV presenter and real life action man Steve Backshall had left a comment. I do have a bit of respect for Backshall, although again, he is one that tends to push the boundaries with wild animals, including sharks. And I imagine he decided to weigh in here because he sort of does a similar thing to Ramsey and maybe he felt a little bit challenged by my opinion. Sadly, he ended up deleting his comment, so I only have this little screenshot of some of it, which was sent to me by a friend just after he posted it. The general gist of the comment though was that he was actually a fan of Ramsey and thinks fairly highly of what she's doing. We all have our opinions and I posted a reply politely disagreeing with some of the points that he made. I've actually met Steve before many, many years ago at uni. God, look how young I am there. We even ended up in a nightclub together. So I invited him back down again and hoped that we could continue our debate in person. He never ended up replying to me in that comment thread and then mysteriously about a year after he posted it, it suddenly disappeared. I was actually pretty sad about that because I'd pinned it to the top of the comments for you all to see and engage in the debate. And even though he never replied, I thought that our two comments were polite and respectful, exactly how you'd hope them to be. And I pinned it as a demonstration as to how people can respectfully engage with and even disagree with each other online. As to why he deleted it, I don't know. Maybe he was getting too many notifications or maybe he changed his opinion on Ocean Ramsey. I did interestingly spot this interview he did that came out a good while after my video on Ramsey. Have a listen to what he says here. There's been a few times with tiger sharks that have been given pause to, to think that they are they are not the animals they are so often now portrayed to be, particularly on social media. You know, this whole kind of trend for redirecting tiger sharks is all well and good. It's a great skill to have, but it gives a very false impression of what tiger sharks do and what they're capable of. That, to me, sounds like someone who might have changed their mind, but... We'll never know. Shortly after uploading the video though, I started getting emails from people who had worked for One Ocean Diving in the past, telling me of their own experiences with Ramsey and her company. One in particular was from a young scientist who had worked as an intern at the organization about six or seven years ago now. Sadly, I can't name this person or tell you too much about what she said to me because according to her, One Ocean Diving had made her sign a non-disclosure agreement before she left the organization, which is apparently why you don't hear much from previous employees of the company. She had some crazy things to say though, and I 
I don't want to put her in a tricky legal position by repeating that to thousands of people. If you guys did want to hear more about that, let me know in the comments and I can try and get back in touch with her and see if we can somehow discuss it while still protecting her identity. So let me know. So a bit more time went on and I'd sort of forgotten about the video until I got an email inviting me onto a podcast to discuss shark influencers. The podcast was called Endless Thread and it's an American-based podcast that looks into trending social media topics online. I'll post the link in the description if you want to listen to the whole episode. Anyway, the hosts of the podcast had invited me on because they'd seen my video about Ocean Ramsey and thought it would be cool to continue on the discussion. I love doing podcasts, so I agreed and went on to chat with them and give my opinion because if someone asks for my opinion, I'm going to give it. It turned out though, to try and give a balanced argument, the host of the podcast had also interviewed a shark influencer. They didn't manage to hook head honcho Ocean Ramsey, but they got one of her acolytes, Kaylee Grant, although you might know of her as Mermaid Kaylee. Kaylee worked for Ocean Ramsey and her company One Ocean Diving a few years back. I'm not sure if she still does, but she was one of their shark safety divers pre-2020. She's essentially a carbon copy of Ocean Ramsey doing the same thing with sharks and posting it all over social media. So Kaylee ended up on the podcast as well, which is fair enough. You want to get both sides of the argument? I think that's a good idea. But after recording my segment, I got another email from the host of the podcast saying, hey, why don't we try and get you and Kaylee onto the same Zoom call and you guys can thrash it out? And I thought this was a great idea, a live debate, shark scientist versus shark influencer. It's no Kamala versus Trump, but still, it would have been cool. So I said yes, but suddenly Kaylee couldn't be pinned down to a time or she was just too busy to jump on a call. Those aren't my words, by the way. That's literally what the podcast hosts say at the end of the show. Here, have a listen. Okay, we didn't actually get Christian and Kaylee on the same boat. We tried to at least get them on the same video call, but Kaylee couldn't confirm a recording time. So one of Ocean Ramsey's protégés didn't fancy doing a live debate with a shark scientist who has some reservations about shark influencers. The question you've got to ask yourselves here is why? Why does she not want to come and debate me live? I don't think I'm that scary a person and we've both got half decent followings on social media. I'd imagine there's a lot of people out there that would have loved that kind of content, but she just wasn't up for it. So some more time went on and again, I wasn't really thinking about the video until I got a little email notification from Reddit. I'd posted my original Ocean Ramsey video on Reddit a couple of years back when I made it and the email notification I got a few weeks ago was from a Reddit user called you slash Ocean Ramsey who had responded in that Reddit thread. Now we do have to take this with a massive pinch of salt. I'm almost 99% sure that this is some weirdo on the internet that's decided to name their account after Ocean Ramsey and comment on the thread as if it was her. I think considering I've never heard anything directly from Ocean Ramsey or her team, there's a good chance this could be fake. But you never know, it might be her. Anyway, here's what it says. I would appreciate if you would watch this YouTube video. Also, please be aware, I never found this guy's email. I'm in the water all day and about 100,000 emails behind and over a thousand texts. So I'm seeing this years later because I'm working in the water and field actually doing this to help sharks, as you can see in that video link above, if you watch even just the first 90 seconds of it. Sadly, I would have collaborated had I actually found his email, but I've searched for it, no email. So it seems this video is more for his attempt to just grow his social media by tearing people down or commenting on attacks or anything really, making an analogy to baby bunnies, dot, dot, dot. Anyways, for all the haters out there, here you go, YouTube link. Now, there's quite a lot to digest from that. Initially, the comment links to a video that's been posted by Juan Olifant, Ramsey's husband and official videographer. It's called 90 Seconds on Why Ocean Ramsey is Great for Sharks, which is a slightly strange title, I've got to say, considering the video is 10 minutes long and it was uploaded a few weeks ago by Juan's official YouTube account. Anyway, the comment then goes on to say that she never saw my email and that she's seeing this years later because she's hundreds of thousands of emails behind and is in the water every day. Now, when I tried to get in contact with them, I'd use the direct contact form on both the One Ocean Diving website and her personal website. You know, where you click contact us and send a message. But using this method, there's no way to trace it from my end. I know, who are you gonna believe now? Where's the proof? Fortunately though, it turns out, as well as sending those messages via the contact forms, I also post posted a number of comments on her official Instagram page and her Instagram page, One Ocean Research. Remember the one where she cited my entanglement research paper? And thankfully, I do have evidence of those. You can see them on screen now. Most of my comments are thanking Ramsey for removing the marine debris from the sharks and asking her politely if she could submit that data to the Shark and Ray Entanglement Network with a handy link provided. But Ramsey gets thousands and thousands of comments on her Instagram pages, so my ones could have just been buried in a sea of other comments and she's just not spotted them. That would be true, apart from the fact that one of those comments 
comments actually got a reply. And that's this one right here. On the post from One Ocean Research, where Ramsey cites my research paper in the description, I commented about submitting the entanglement data to the Shark and Ray Entanglement Network and gave the link. To which Ramsey and her team responded with, Thanks so much for sharing. We weren't aware of this project, but we'll be sure to check it out. Now that paired with the contact form messages that I send and the fact that she cited my research paper using my surname in the description of the post, you'd think there'd be a pretty good chance that she was gonna share that data, right? But there wasn't, it was never shared. And that's because she doesn't share any of the supposed data that she has with actual scientists. So to say in that Reddit comment that she would have collaborated and shared the data if she was aware isn't quite true because she and her organization were aware. The Reddit comment then goes on to claim that I only made the video to boost my own social media following by tearing others down, which is the classic defensive trope used by social media influencers when they've been criticized. These days, you can't seem to have an opinion on something or someone without them claiming you're trying to capitalize on their fame. I'm pretty sure Carlos, the Malibu artist, insinuated that's what I was trying to do when I had some slight critiques about the whole newborn white shark thing. Like I've said before, I made the original Ocean Ramsey video because I had so many people in the comments asking me what I thought about Ocean Ramsey. And if you're gonna needlessly harass wildlife for photo opportunities and clicks, then I'm gonna call it out for what it is, alongside all the other scientists calling it out for what it is as well. And there are lots of them. The Reddit comment also scoffs at the rabbit analogy I use to highlight the negative effect that stress hormones and glucocorticoids can have on animals. I use that analogy because it was easier for people to understand it visually, but there are loads of other examples in the scientific literature of how human-induced stress is bad for wildlife animals. Ones that highlight the negative impacts of stress hormones in very large animals like elephants, and also ones that highlight the same thing in large predatory animals like lions. So when people say, well, you can't compare a rabbit to a great white shark. No, you can't really. They're two very different animals. But you can compare large adult lions and large African elephants to a great white shark, both from a size perspective and from an ecological niche perspective as well. All around, the data in the scientific literature generally points to the fact that it's best to try and not disturb wild animals as much as possible. So that's why I mentioned glucocorticoids. Now I'm almost 99% certain that this comment is probably fake and is from some weirdo trying to impersonate Ramsey on Reddit. I would be impressed if someone managed to snatch the username u slash Ocean Ramsey though without having to put a load of numbers in that username. So on the rare off chance that that comment was actually from Ocean, I've got a message for her. Ocean, it's pretty clear we have very opposing views on shark influencers and that's fine. I've always said that differing opinions make for great debates. So I'm inviting you to do just that. Come and debate me right here on YouTube. Let's do it live for everyone to watch, enjoy, and engage with. And maybe we can finally thrash this out once and for all. And maybe even come to a mutually respected agreement. So what do you say? Fancy it? Something tells me no, but my inbox is always open. If that's something you Sharp White subscribers want to see, then make sure you hit that like button and comment it below. And hopefully at some point in time, Ocean might see it and even go for it. We'll see. So another bit of pointless social media beef for you all to digest there. How mind-numbing. Can we get back to talking about sharks now, please? Coming up this Sunday, you don't want to miss it. It's Shark Bites versus Ocean Ramsey, and it's live. Anyway, guys, if you wanted to check out my original video where I air my thoughts on Ocean Ramsey and One Ocean Diving, then it should be popping up on your screen somewhere around here. So make sure you go and give it a watch.